Welcome back to another progress video. Um, in this episode, we are going to get some of our skills up, complete some quests, and then finally complete the prep to doing something that I've wanted to do that I feel is relatively unique. Um, as always, thank you guys for the continued support, all the love that you guys have shown. I really, really appreciate it, and it keeps me motivated to create content for you guys and also for myself. But as always, thank you, and let's get into the video. All right. We're going to get to 40 agility now, and then probably head to Canifus as well, level agility there. All right, there's 35 agility. Well on our way to 40. Guys, I am super excited for more episodes of The Last of Us. Like, it it's honestly just so refreshing to finally get like a good zombie show. Um yeah, I'm super excited. Does anybody know of any shows that are that are kind of similar to The Last of Us that I could watch? Leave some comments below of what, what I should watch. I'm Getting pretty close to 40 agility, um, but I do have a question. I saw some people that were interested in knowing if I would keep my defense at 13 and be a 13 defense pure Iron Man, um, and I'd be willing to do that for now. You know, drop drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Should I just go all out and make a full Iron Man, or should I keep it at a 13 defense Iron Man and... Um, go from there to kind of have like a kind of a unique build what do you guys think let me know because 13 defense iron man kind of sounds sounds kind of fun um i think black armor would be about the max armor you can get which is okay but you could still get slayer mask and slayer helmet which would be cool um and then i believe an addy defender as well so i don't know kind of, kind of sounds cool as a um as a unique account and yeah, just, just let me know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below on what I should do. All right, there's 40 agility. So now we can do agility in Canifus. Um, I think I'm going to head over there. I really want to get to 56 agility for the shortcut at Guardians of the Rift. All right, we fully unlocked fairy rings. So now I'm teleporting to Canifus. We're going to go get our agility to, I think, 56 because Guardians of the Rift, like I said before. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's 45 agility. Hooray. So I haven't gotten the requirements for Druidic Ritual, mainly because I've been lazy. But did you guys know that Rufus sells all of the meats you need? That... What? All right, there's 50. The agility we're gonna head to the falador um rooftops and then go to the wilderness rooftop or the wilderness course at 52 all right there's 52 agility and we can go to the wilderness agility course now obviously we don't get any marks there but the agility xp is super quick so i'm gonna go there till 56 agility it's always so scary when i see somebody log in here i feel like they're gonna try to kill me then I remember they'll literally get nothing if they do. I'm actually falling so much now. It's really disappointing. I literally hadn't fallen in so long. And now I'm probably going to have to make a second trip just to get to 56. So I went to use the range down here in Lumbridge. And it was brought to my attention that uh, I hadn't done Cook's Assistant yet. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out. What better time? All right, there's Cook's Assistant completed. Now I can use the range down here and cook some food that I need for the finish. Uh, the agility grind to 56. Oh, knock that out. All right, there's 56 agility. Um, if you were wondering why I wanted to get 56, it's specifically for the rock climb and temple of the eye. It is the spot that lets you get fragments at a much, much faster rate. All that agility training for this one little area right here. All right, when we were here before, we didn't have Lost City completed, so we couldn't make Cosmics, but now we can finally make some Cosmics and start getting a bunch of jewelry on the account. Let's go. All right, there's Romeo and Juliet completed. So now I have the um, quest point requirement to get in the Champions Guild. 
so that we can get black armor. All right, we're going to buy the plate body here in Varrock. All right, while we're here, we're going to invest in a rune sword. And we are going to buy black full helm and black plate legs. I'll tell you what they're for shortly. All right, there's night sword completed. Get you from 1 to 29 smithing. I still need one more level, though, so I can start making gold for the jewelry, but we'll figure that out. Don't even worry. You know what I don't understand? This little boy knocked his ball into there. I got his ball back, and he still sits here and plays with his ball outside this fence. Poor kid. Never learns. All right. Finally completed Judic Ritual, mainly because I was just being lazy before. So there's that. Next up, we are going to do some LMS. Um... I'm by no means a crazy PKer, but I dabble a little bit. But the main reason for this is because the next thing that we're going to do is going to require us to be in the wilderness for extended periods of time. Um, that's what we needed the black armor for and the rune sword. So I want to get some points. And really, I just want to get some uh, blighted man ray. Um, and some carambon. Basically, some of the blighted foods. Just so we can use A, better food than we currently have, and B, not have to go through our food that we're going to need later on, not in the wilderness. So we are going to sit here. We probably won't be here very long because honestly, we just need a few points, but let's see if I can uh, get some kills or any wins. I'll show you guys how I do. All right, I got two points off that last game. Uh, I ran into a good PKer and he rinsed me. So let's get a few more points. All right, after having a miserable time in LMS and realizing how poor of a PK I am, um, we are done with LMS for now with a grand total of nine points. So now what we're going to do is buy um, some Blighted Manta Ray. We're going to use two points on that for now. We're probably going to need more, but that's okay. Um, Actually... Let's let's use two more points on that. And then what we're going to do is grab um, two points of blighted carambon. And that should be good for now. So now I'm sure you're wondering, improv, what is the plan? So we are going to start going for 43 prayer in a relatively unique way. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to go kill hill giants. As we all know, hill giants drop big bones. Big bones get 15 XP per bone. And if I recall correctly, and sold heads give 650 XP per head. Um, so we're going to use those to get prayer up. But we're also going to kill hill giants in the wilderness so that we can have a better chance of getting a hill giant key or a giant key rather. Um, instead of a, I believe, 1 in 128 drop, it is a 1 in 64 drop if you are killing hill giants in the wilderness. So we are going to spend the next however long it takes to get to 43 plus prayer killing hill giants in the wilderness in the hopes that we can stack up on some hill giant keys. And we are then going to do Obor, the giant boss that's locked behind the giant key. 
And that'll be our, our, our first little bossing attempt on this account. Um, Obor seems to be a boss that is often forgot about because it's more or less a free-to-play boss or a um, low-level boss. So we are going to we are going to uh, kill some Obor and see what we can get us some drops. Maybe we can get some uniques. So yeah, that's going to be our unique way of getting to 43 prayer. Um, obviously, once we have that, we are going to be able to do a lot more content within the game. So that that is currently what the plan is. Um, also, like I said earlier in the video, let me know what you guys think. Should I make this kind of a unique account where I stay at 13 defense? Or should I um, just make it a full main and just go all out, leveling everything up, doing all the quests, just doing everything? Um, it doesn't matter as much to me. Uh, I've I've done both, so I'm okay with either. Um, let me know. Let me know what you guys think, and we'll go from there. Um, yeah, we are currently 40 attack, 30 strength, and 13 defense. Um, next time you see me, we will have made some pretty good progress, I, I, I hope. Um, but I think we're going to end the video there. Um, obviously, this video was a lot of little skilling grinds and getting getting some little things out of the way to kind of build up to this grind um, and some other grinds that I have in, that have in mind for the future. Um, as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a sub, drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.